What's wrong? Eli's father, Ezekiel, said that I can't see him anymore. <laughs> oh, Meg, I'm so sorry. I try to talk to Eli's father for you, honey, but I don't know if it's my place. Ezekiel wouldn't listen to you anyway, Lois. You're a woman. Dad, will you talk to Ezekiel? Will you tell him I'm not trying to corrupt his son? Please? All right, I'll do it. But don't expect any miracles. I'm not good with confrontation. Oh. Woo! I couldn't even see it. Yeah, it was something. Ducks on a pond, let's bring him in! Could you please sit down? I am sitting down. You sit up! Before we commence with Samuel Fisher's barn raising, let us pray. Dear Amish Lord, thou lookest sternly down upon us, thine flock, even though we did not do anything wrong and have been doing chores Hey, uh, Ezekiel? You must be Mr. Griffin. Look, I, I know you guys are busy with your barn raising and all, but, um, you know, I just wanted to tell you how much my daughter Meg loves your boy, Eli. I had not considered this. I was verily preoccupied with Eli's corruption. Plus, it is the time of the month when Eli's mother is on the burlap. So what do you say? Let the kids give it a shot. Perhaps, Mr. Griffin. Introducing Rock and Roll! <laughs> How did it go, Dad? Very well, Meg. My recollection is that it went extremely well. Really? Oh, my God, Dad, that's fantastic! So I, I can see Eli again? Griffins! I'm sorry, Meg. Eli was the best boy I'll ever meet. And now I'll never see him again! Yes, you will, Meg. <gasps> hey, Lois, watch me lay rubber in front of these losers. Yeah! Yeah! Choke on that, nerds! Joe, go round up Quagmire and all the modern-day technology you can find. We are going to war. That man! That man is my girlfriend, Meg! <laughs> community and corrupting me! But look at yourself! You're the one who's allowed yourself to be corrupted! God in heaven! You are right! <sighs> Son, it is your life to live. I must accept the life you choose. I choose to stay here. What? What? I love you, Eli. I'll always love you. If this is what you have to do, then all I can say is, I'll never forget you. Hey, don't worry about it. We can still be pals. And I know just the place for us to go and blow off all this steam. We went dancing. Don't you think I'm a little old for the Teen Choice Awards? I mean, I turned 18 today. You're live. It's the Teen Choice Awards. <laughs> Featuring Robert Pattinson. <laughs> Justin Bieber. <laughs> Zach Efron. <laughs> Give it up for our first nominated choice band of the night, P-Hole Skin. <laughs> I'm gonna put a stop to this. Surprise! Oh. Oh, dear. Mom, if it's a surprise party, where is everybody? Chris, what the hell? I thought you were gonna pay the kids from school to show up. I gave you $300. Well, happy birthday anyway, Meg. See you in the morning. Oh, hi, Mr. Quagmire. Oh, please. My father is Mr. Quagmire. Oh, no, he's not. Okay, well, that's... Well, he used to be Mr. Quagmire. Now he's 
Now he's just Ida Davis. Well, it's your 18th birthday, Meg. That's a very important milestone in a young girl's, I mean, a young woman's life. <laughs> hey, welcome to the adult club, huh? <laughs> and you know what? You got another member right next door if you ever want to talk and stuff. <laughs> Look at Quagmire hitting on that skank. You know he's going to close the deal. Peter, that skank is your daughter. Oh, my God, you're right. You know, Meg, I'd love to see you without your hat on. Okay. So, anyway, I'm on approach into Lambert Field in some of the worst turbulence I've ever flown through. I mean, I have never seen anything like it. Everyone in the cabin was like, ah! Well, gosh, Quagmire, this has been a fun night, but I guess uh, you better be getting home now, huh? Yeah, it is getting late. Guess I'll go home and rub out a giggity. Take it easy, you guys. See you later, Meg. Bye. <laughs> What's your name? Derek. <laughs> What's your name? Michael. You're Derek now. Oh. oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! I love stars! We now return to grainy footage of a potential Bigfoot that will surely spark a lively debate in your household. Oh, hey, Mr. G. How's it going? Quagmire, what are you doing here? Hi, Glenn. Bye, you guys. Me and Glenn are going out. What? Like hell you are! What? Drive carefully. We'll see you later. Whoa, is you out of your mind? We can't let Quagmire take Meg out on a date. That guy will bang anything. Hey, Peter, do you mind? But I have to get dinner. Go out. Peter, nothing's gonna happen, don't you see? She's only doing this to get a rise out of us. If we fight her on it, she'll only push further. Mr. Peter Schmidt, we pumped your daughter's stomach and we found vodka, brohypnol, a fair amount of DNA that is not her own, and a class ring. Harvard? I think it was SUNY something? Oh, I don't want to hear anymore! Oh, hey, there you are. Hey, listen, I got something really cool I want you to see. What is it? This. I found it in the yard. A tennis ball. That's very impressive, Brian. Well, if you could recall exactly when you buried it, I suppose I could help you out. I remember the exact day. January 31st, 1999. Very well. Follow me, Brian. Well, here we are. Louie, I said no toys at the table. Damn you, vile woman! You've impeded my work since the day I escaped from your wretched womb. Oh, don't pout, honey. You know, when you were born, the doctor said you were the happiest-looking baby he'd ever seen. Yeah, where'd you hear that? Quantum Leap? That guy changed the past all the time. Whoa, ass ahoy. Hey, uh, Peter, it's 7 o'clock and you've still got your pants on. What's the occasion? Ew, I remember this. Peter's eye did that weird creepy thing where it went over his nose. And then there was that time at the ice cream store. They're doing it again. What the hell? I, I, I'm at a loss. I mean, I, I know we're not supposed to mess with the timeline, but should we call an ambulance? Going back to work tomorrow. That new boss has it in for me. He's meaner than a shifty salesman. <sighs> hey, wait a minute, Stewie. I gotta take a leak. W will it screw up the timeline if my future pee goes in a past toilet? Uh, no, as long as it goes in the toilet. One splash on a magazine in there, and we're getting chased by dinosaurs. <gasps> oh. Hey. Who the deuce are you? Uh, well, I'm, uh... I'm you. you... Okay, bye, Lois. I'm going to the stag party. Ryan, you might as well come out now. He knows everything. Uh-oh. Ryan, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Where'd you get that? Well, the Stewie from the past has a lot more gadgets and things than I do. I've kind of slacked off a little bit. How's the party? TV's not even plugged in. What is this? Where the hell are we? The air is electric here at Super Bowl 30. Yeah. 
What are you doing? Just waiting. For what? I'm just waiting, dude. Relax. Hey, is there any place around here that sells batteries? Guys, don't don't distract me, all right? I, I gotta really be up. So there's no organs or glands or anything, right? It's just a liquid? Yeah, yeah, it's just a liquid. Um, I don't know if this is a weird question, but can I have some? All right, fine. Tilt your head back and I'll lean my liquid down into your mouth. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Yeah! You guys did this! You guys did this! Talking about my guts! me up! you!